beautiful morning with little Max and Harry. As you can see, they started rolling about a week ago and life has been very chaotic. Both boys woke up last night in the middle of the night because of their rolling, reaching some new milestones. They've been waking up in the night. We were getting seven or eight hours. Now, you know, we're getting nice long stretches and they only wake up once. So Harry was the first to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. We drank seven ounces or 230 milliliters. And then I just kind of stayed up for a minute because I had a feeling Max was going to wake up. And he did. He woke up around 5.07, 5.10. And same thing, he ate his full seven ounce bottle. Oh my gosh. Then I went back to sleep. Then they slept until, what time is it now? It slept until about 8.45, which is awesome. I love it when they wake up and they're cooing and happy and not, you know, screaming bloody murder. Neither of them is really acting very hungry. I've got a seven ounce bottle ready, but I think we might just play for a little bit and see when they start screaming their heads off. At five months and one week old, the boys are becoming little chunkers. Little Maxie weighs 17 pounds, 4.75 ounces. And little Harry weighs 15 pounds, 10.75 ounces. Seems like Harry's always been about a pound and a half behind, but I think he's catching up a little tiny bit. We do have a bath time tonight, so I always weigh them on bath night, and we'll see how much they gain. Typically, it's about an ounce a day. Okay, buddy. That's your first. My little buttercup. Maxie will be first today. Say hi. 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 Well, you got a boogie on your face. <laughs> no. And he is instantly quiet. Come here, buddy. Wow! Come here. You were starving. You went from zero to sixty. Oh my god! Man, that got a little hairy for a minute. <laughs> a little hairy. He was freaking out. One minute he was fine, and the next he was just freaking out. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, honey, it's okay. So when something like that happens, I just have to put the other one down and hope for the best. And thankfully, Maxie had had enough so that he isn't screaming his head off tail. <laughs> uh, yeah, eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food. Careful. Oh, honey, did you bang your head? Oh, buddy. How did you, how did you get that all over your face? A oh, little butter. Honey. Were you rolling in it? Oh my gosh. I guess we gotta change some sheets. Yum, yum. All right, I gotta take a little break from filming. Both of these boys are going a little bit crazy. You gonna be okay? I'll be back. boys. Hey. How are my boys? They're generally pretty happy. Since they started rolling 
They've been a little bit fussier. You know, they're just going through some milestones, the whole not sleeping and, you know, all the way through the night and generally needing more cuddles this week, which we're happy to give, huh? But now that I've got them locked up tight in their little chairs, mama's got to do some chores after I feed myself. Now that the boys are laid down, I'm going to get myself cleaned up because I feel disgusting. And that's chore time. morning nap is typically their longest nap of the day so it'll be anywhere between like an hour to two and a half hours even sometimes but again with the rolling milestone it's been 30 minutes to an hour this past week about 30 minutes of a nap in and now I think they're both freaking out. Let's go chat. Okay Harry, okay. I'm gonna get you next, okay? Oh my gosh, I got a 30 minute nap out of them and they're both freaking out, so time for some food. It is very rare that they both freak out like this. I got a binky into Harry's mouth. <laughs> We'll see if we can get some food in them and get them to go back to sleep, huh? Come here. Let go. Let go. Nom, nom, nom. Let it go. Now we're all happy. Eat your food. Don't laugh. Well, they calmed down a little bit. I need to get a snack. You've got crazy in here. Right? My baby, are you happy again? Oh my God. Boys are docked again in their little seats and I need to continue chores. So much fun. Oh, now you're smiling at me. You goofball. Oh my God. About a 30 minute nap. I don't know where their long naps went. Maybe they'll have one in the afternoon. I don't know, I'm tired. I need some food. Mommy needs some food. I can't have bottles. Guys, I have been going back and forth between these two boys. I have Maxie right here. He was in the bedroom and he was fine. And then all of a sudden he wasn't. And then I've got Harry right down here on the floor in his little chair still. I've been running back and forth between the two of them with this one bottle. I don't know what is going on with them today. Maybe they knew I was filming and they were like, oh my God, we should show the world that sometimes twins are really hard. Cause that's one of those days. Thankfully I was able to finish my soup and my chicken skewer and some dark chocolate squares. So at least now I'm not starving, but uh, yeah, yeah. This day is turning out to be quite the doozy. Right, buddy? Right? Say hi. Say hi, I'm Maxie. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> now you're smiling, huh? Mm, yeah. See, they're so stinky. Oh my God. God, that was a huge burpee. That was probably why you weren't happy, huh? <laughs> oh my God. This one's got a poopy diapy. That poopy diapy? Yeah. <gasps> Who's that boy? Who's that boy? Who's that boy up there? Who's that boy? That's you. Oh my gosh, that's you. <laughs> You're so excited. Let's go change this poopy diaper, huh? Okay. Maxie, you good down there? Okay. What are you doing, silly goose? Let's get in our little sleep set. I know. I know. Come here. Come here. Tuck 
tuck hey. this, tuck this arm like this, and then roll. Do you see? And then you roll back up. Do you see? And then you roll back. Oh my gosh. Who's this baby? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to get these chores done. It is 1.30, trying to get these boys down for another nap. I have never had this hard of a time with them. But I guess there's always the first time for everything. Holy hell, finally got these boys to go to sleep. Now I need to finish chores. What is the time? It's 2 o'clock. Maxie has been sleeping since 2 p.m. and Hair Bear has been sleeping since 2.30. It is almost four o'clock. It's a really nice long nap. And now I think I'm gonna relax a little bit and wait for these kiddos to wake up because it could be any time now, but last time I checked on them, they were sleeping like babies. Look who decided to join us. It's Maxie. Nom, 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 nom. You had a long nap, honey. You had a two hour nap, are you hungry? You wanna make some food? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get you a bottle, huh? The Baby Brezza formula maker is amazing. I seriously can't imagine life without it now. We started off by doing the ready to feed formula that we had to warm up when we used the Philips Avent bottle warmer and that thing's dope. I still take it with me when I go to town to see my family and use it to warm up bottles. But this thing is a game changer. I'm gonna do a full review video if you are watching this once that review video is done, it'll be linked above. If not, keep an eye out for it and be sure to subscribe so you can see that. This thing is awesome. It's like a Keurig for baby formula. It heats it. It mixes it and it's ready to go instantly. Also, this is the Wi Fi version, so you can brew a bottle in bed. It's pretty amazing. Ready? Let's get our bottle parts together. What are you doing, baby? Me and the boy have just been chilling since he woke up. I was on the phone with one of my best friends in New Jersey. I never answered the phone because she always calls when these kids are being crazy. I actually had the chance to call. What? You've been chill this whole time and now I talk to the camera and you crazy? Oh my gosh. And Harry is still sleeping. It is 5 p.m. Well, while Harry is still sleeping, I need to make my salad. Salad champions, I like to call it. It is lettuce, tomato, onion, one hard boiled egg, three and a half ounces of Costco chicken, tablespoon of olive oil, red wine and white wine vinegar, and a lot. Oh, did I say tomato? Yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, I gotta make that. Tonight will be bath night, although we're probably gonna do that a little bit later. Pretty much a day with five month old twins. They have been very fussy lately, uh, a little bit crazy. They are rolling, they're eating more, uh, larger amounts, but they're eating less often. Naps are interesting to say the least. Like, Maxie, what are you doing? Oh my God. Max took a two hour nap. Harry's on three hours and 15 minutes right now. I'm just gonna let him sleep. It won't affect the sleep at night. Um, and at night they are sleeping for longer periods of time. So their personalities are definitely coming out more. Oh my God, let me grab him. Oh God. Hey, say hi. Say hi. Oh, you stink. You stinky. 
So yeah, definitely needing a lot of attention the past week. Normally they're very independent, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll be nice once they can roll fully, completely over. I think they're going to be a lot happier. But yeah, that's about it for solo day times. If you would like to see a review of the baby Brezza, you can click right here. And if you'd like to see how I bathe twins in under 30 minutes, you can click right here. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, be sure to like it because it helps other people to find it on the YouTubes. Say bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, I stink. I got a poopy diaper. Yeah. Let's go change your diaper. All right. We'll see you next time.